Predictably, once the pandemic hit, the office market really took a hit when all those employees started working from home. That means that about two years later now, there's a lot of open office space, and yet developers are still adding to it. We found out it's because workers are very particular about the place they go to work. The stories of Kansas City were written in the hallways of this building. But now 3D Development's Eric Wolschlager is helping those hallways and massive spaces where the city's papers were once written and printed get ready for the next edition, what they're calling Grand Place. Tens of thousands of square feet of new office space with a restaurant, rooftop views, and public marketplace to attract people to the building whether they work there or not. For us, that's you know why we're building in you know a 20,000 square foot market that will not only be fantastic to to go grab lunch during the day on a Tuesday, but a place that you're going to bring your friends and family to on a Saturday. It's the kind of amenity list that got the healthcare company Next Move excited about committing to 24,000 square feet there, more than doubling their current space that they're quickly growing out of. Clint Clevenger is the chief operating officer. As we thought about the needs for our offices, we were really looking for a space that our people wanted to come to at the end of the day. It's why even though market studies show downtown office space vacancy has continued to rise in Kansas City over the last two years, developers are still building more or spending plenty of money to renovate old space and make it fresh again. Businesses like Next Move say cool features, amenities, and short walks to other cool attractions are what their current workers want and it's what new hires are demanding. We looked outside of the kind of downtown Kansas City area and it took about five minutes to realize this is really where we wanted to be. Eric says construction is expected to start soon with the first tenants moving in in the middle of 2023. That gives them plenty of time to build out the rest before big downtown events like the World Cup or now a new Royals baseball district that could land just a few blocks from the office. The idea was creating an office campus um, that really brought people together. That was a, a magnet and a part of this community. So just tomorrow, downtown leaders and city leaders are going to get together and talk about what they can do to try to make the entire downtown and crossroads area a better place to be for a lot of these businesses and offices. Of course, now after today's announcement from the Royals, no doubt that that baseball district is going to be a big part of the conversation, especially since because some people think it might just go a few blocks in that direction, Christelle.